people still live at the bottom of Vesuvius. People still live in Herculaneum and in uh, Pompeii. And then they know this is going to go again someday, you know? Good morning from outside Naples again. <laughs> Yeah, we are now at the uh, Herculaneo station, which mm -hmm. is the Herculaneum, and we are about to head to Mount Vesuvius. So today is going to be sort of a continuation of yesterday when we were at Pompeii. Uh, Pompeii was, of course, destroyed by Mount Vesuvius back in AD 78, 79? 79. 79, AD 79. So we decided to take a day trip here today, walk up Mount Vesuvius, and see what kind of monster destroyed this city. Yeah, so we're about to buy a ticket now to go to the starting point of the hike, and mm -hmm. supposedly it's not so bad. Yeah, it's a 90 minute hike. So like total like, the experience, yeah. a 90 minute yeah. bus to bus again. Just wearing sneakers, not even gonna bother with the hiking shoes. <laughs> Hopefully the entrance ticket will be included. Get our tickets, and now I'm waiting for the bus to arrive, pick us up. We have arrived at Mount Vesuvius, doesn't look too bad. And we have, what, 30 minutes to get up. The drive here is a bit challenging, I guess, because it's so curvy and then we gain about 1,000 oh, meters. Oh, good lord, it was nothing like the drive up to Laguna 69. <laughs> <laughs> we already head start for a thousand meters and then supposedly this is about 20 to 30 minute easy hike or gradually gradually climb. increasing yeah. yeah yeah it's a little cooler up here isn't it it's not too threatening it seems like nah you know it's gonna erupt eventually <laughs> No, no, no. Ma vetro, bottiglie di plastica. Per fare un complimento. All right. All right. We're officially in and it's start to hike up. Yeah. For sure. This is officially my second volcano, and this one is going to be a lot easier. Well, it's my third volcano. I mean, I did uh, Volcanoes National Park in Hawaii. Hawaii. So this is my third volcano, and I guess the Hawaii one was pretty easy. This one will be the second easiest because the one in Guatemala sucked. This is officially the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> What's up with us and mountains? We've been climbing a lot of mountains lately. Yeah, no. Well, we were in Peru. <laughs> so that's part of that. Almost there. It's a good workout. We actually made it up here. It's only 20 minute hike. This is the crater that what I learned actually erupted in 1944. And it doesn't seem much now, just a big hole. You know, you always think about climbing Mount Vesuvius is like the epic journey and then nobody's doing it. But I was completely wrong. No, there's a lot of people. So, as I was saying to you on the way up, I think that in around Naples area, the entire tourism industry is sort of based on disasters, right? You have Vesuvius and Pompeii, Herculaneum, that were completely destroyed by this relatively small volcano. Then you have the collapsing of a city into the water that we went out diving and saw. And then you have the underground part of Napoli, which is based on people getting cholera from the water, and then the trash that was in there, and then the bombings during World War II. And it occurs to me that no one has learned a lesson from any of it. People still live at the bottom of Vesuvius. People still live in Herculaneum and in uh, Pompeii. And then they know this is going to go again someday, you know? And we're not taking a big chance. There's almost no chance this is going to erupt today. But people living down there and their children and grandchildren, there's a definite chance that this is going to go again. For all the people who live in Pompeii now and who live in Herculaneum and who live on the stuff that we've seen on the way up, they're all going to die. Apparently there's another one way up there where we can go to and then we have about half an hour to get there. We have arrived at 
the end of the trail and it's getting very very cloudy here yeah it's i mean it's a very nice day down in naples today but of course we're i think about 1800 feet up or 1800 meters up so at least you don't have to deal with altitude that usually always be the bad thing <laughs> you can, can breathe, breathe the whole thing easily. <laughs> yeah but uh once Vesuvius is obviously very powerful think about the history that it's make it's very epic you know mountain to climb but it didn't feel very epic. Yeah, <laughs> it like 20 minutes of walking. <laughs> but it is Mount Vesuvius, and you can see some of the smoke, like a silver maybe. Mm -hmm. You just kind yeah. of smell it, and then it just seems like it's just empty hole on the ground. Yeah, it, it looks like a sinkhole, but it's a sinkhole that killed thousands, thousands and thousands of people, and thousands of people like so. 2,000 years ago. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to happen again. Yes, eventually it will. Mount Vesuvius is among the very many drone free zones in Italy and the drone free zone in Italy seems to be the entire country though not legally uh, practically uh, it's not even worth bringing a drone here getting ready to head back to the taxi van actually a little shorter day than I expected I'm not sure how long this vlog is going to be but it was Mount Vesuvius and I'm really glad that we spent the money to come here very interesting place to go can you smell the sulfur yes <laughs> Absolutely. It might be dormant volcano, but it still smells like rotten eggs. It's disgusting. But <laughs> it's volcanic stuff. Yeah. Hiking down is harder on my foot for some reason this day. <laughs> Shouldn't be taking as long time as coming up, obviously. We are back in Herculaneum station and the whole journey less than three hours. Yeah, two and a half to three hours, I would say. It's an easy day trip from Naples, train to the station. Train to Herculaneum, then the van up to Mount Vesuvius, a little hike, yeah. then back down, train back to Naples. Yeah, it just takes like maybe half a day. Yeah, anybody can do it. There's really no, I mean, I don't know if you could do it in a wheelchair. I mean, you couldn't do it in a wheelchair, but any able person could do this, I think. So that's it. This is a wrap up from Mount Vesuvius. If you liked our video of Mount Vesuvius, please give it a like. If you didn't like it, go give someone else a thumbs down. <laughs> if you want to see more of our videos, please click that subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications, click the bell. That'll give you a notification in your notification bar whenever we post something new. Absolutely. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Taxi van. Let's get the actual mountain. Don't duck, don't duck.